So I have another Torchwood book re review for you today and this is Almost Perfect by James Goss. Um, so let's look at the cover first of all because we always judge books by the cover. Um, absolutely gorgeous, you have John on the front with the three down at the bottom. Now when I first got this, when it, when it came through the post and I looked at it, I didn't notice that Owen and Tosh weren't there. It just I just never twigged. And then when I started reading it, it was going on about Owen's death and I was like, Eh? Because I, I just assumed that they were all from, like, pre-death, you know? I just thought they were all there. And then I looked at the cover and realised that it was only those three. I was like, oh. So because I'd just read, like, three or four Torchwood books previous to this one where the whole gag was there, it took a bit of getting used to, to having just the three characters. But now I feel that the next book I'm reading has all of them in, so it's going to take a while to get used to that as well. So, um... You do have to be in gear. It's like when you watch the episodes in different orders. It's just like that. Um, the spine as well is lovely. Even Gareth on the side. Um, now the plot, of course, which is the most important thing, is really quite interesting. Um, we learned quite early on that there are two main problems. The first main problem is there's this device um, which is picked up by a girl called Emma Walker. And it's like a little blue thing. And what it does is it puts a voice in her head and that voice tells her that he can, well, it can make everything in her life perfect. Now straight away you know that everything cannot be perfect. If the world was perfect it'd be a disaster because it wouldn't work. So straight away the fact that this machine is trying to make life perfect is going to be a big problem. Um, but she follows along and she starts making life perfect. Um, yeah, so that is going to be a big problem. But I do want to say now that it's quite amusing because the voice in her head is that of Cheryl Cole. So it's really weird reading the words that the voice is saying and trying to hear Cheryl's voice saying it. It's kind of, it's kind of cool, but uh, kind of weird as well. Um, it'll make sense why it's Cheryl if you read it. And also there are dead bodies propping up here and there. Skeletons. Not, not bodies, but skeletons in full suits. And the gang don't know why that's happening either. And there are more and more of them propping up and they've got no idea why. They can't make a connection early on. Um, so you will learn as you read on and you learn more clues and things and try and work it out and I'll be honest it took me until halfway through the book until I could actually make that connection why um, so it is quite it's not, not difficult to follow but you sort of you have to be engaged and be able to sort of piece things together um, oh and there's a third problem as well Ianto is a woman he, it's really funny it's like the first chapter or the second chapter he comes into the hub um, and he is a woman so that is yeah, um, it, it takes a while to get used to that as well, um, but then you sort of forget, like, when you're picturing it in your head, you picture, or at least I picture Ianto as a woman, is it, as Ianto, sorry, as a man doing whatever he's doing in a man's body, so it's kind of weird, um, but it's, it's nice, yeah, it's, 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 it's weird, it'd make a really good sort of, this book itself would make a really great episode, so, but you have sort of three main problems, um, Three of which are hard to make any connections with. You don't really understand why they're like that until quite late on, which I think is good because if you if you sort of twig what's going on early on, it ruins the whole book. Um, I've said this before. I like it when you can be able to sort of think you know the answer and then something else gets thrown in and you've got no idea. There are a few times in this book where I'm thinking, well, that's got no 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 relation to anything, and then it all becomes clear in the end. So there is a lot of surprises in this, a lot of things I didn't expect to happen and I didn't expect to pick up a book and read that Ianto is a woman. I didn't. That for me is sort of the, the comedy highlight in the thing. Um, I do have to point out that it isn't for a younger audience. I mean, Torchwood isn't for a younger audience, but you have Torchwood toys and things. Um, it's not for the younger audience. There's a lot of really heavy, strong scenes in this. There's a lot of gay scenes with John, which is quite delightful to read. Um, yeah. But it is absolutely fantastic book to read is it my I don't think it's my favourite Torchwood book but it is really high up there it is really fun to read there's a lot of laughs in it La laughs? laughs in it um, there's one particular name which Captain Jack gets called I won't say it if you want to know it message me but I won't say it on the video because I have younger viewers um, but yeah so it's definitely a really fun book not the most dark Torchwood book. There are some books where you're sitting there like shivering with fear because the description is so in-depth. And it's not that, that the description is lacking, 
it's just that it's more fun than it is harrowing um, and it's not a problem because it's nice to have a sort of more upbeat yet still f like a fast paced upbeat but not so dark Torchwood book it just it breaks the gap um, the author is brilliant I tried to contact him because there's something at the end which I don't quite well it's not that I don't understand it um, but I want to clarify I want something clarified but I can't get in contact with the author so um, if the author happens to um, YouTube his own name and is watching this video please please message me um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to say about this. I got this for £2.60, I think, on eBay. Um, brand new, you know, it's absolutely perfect condition. So that's a bargain price when it's RRP'd at £6.99. Um, but if there's a library book, one, a library book version in a library or something, go and read it. You will love it, I promise you. Um, absolutely brilliant. Please feel free to leave comments and things and let me know your thoughts on this or any, any other Torchwood thing, Doctor Who thing, or just anything random you know what I'm like I like I'm random myself so there's no surprising me um, but please feel free to leave comments and things and I will see you next time bye guys